Let me take a sip of my, of my Nespresso, <laughs> you know, because we're doing Nespresso. Hello? Your products are gonna look a little different. Why is my wig back? Come to the front, ladies. Come to the front. Wow, 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 wow. <sighs> oh my God. And spray your wigs, girls. Spray your wigs, honey. Spray your wigs. Don't play these games. What up, Wagwan? It's saying good morning. It's your girl, Mena Dibia, and in this video, we are going to do a chit chat. Get ready with me. I'm in LA right now, specifically Beverly Hills. Ow, ow, ow. And I want to tell you all about it in case you did not see my vlog. This blue dress, as you saw in the thumbnail, is from Amazon. I'm going to link that. Let's get started. Now, of course, make sure you are following me on Instagram. When I'm not here, I am there. I'm also on TikTok now. So, I mean, I've been on TikTok, but it's kind of been like <laughs> slow coming, but we, you know, we, we are revving ourselves up for the TikTok scene. So make sure you follow me there. Again, like I said, everything that I use will be linked below. And right now I'm in a hotel getting ready. I don't have a mirror in front of me, so I'm looking at the viewfinder. We're gonna have a lot to talk about and hopefully this is not too distracting. I love watching get ready with me videos because they're casual, they don't feel staged, do they feel very relatable, it's just good stuff. So I do have my makeup kit that I travel with. This is the Allie Glines kit situation that she sent to me years ago, which I am very grateful for because I love it and I keep my skincare and my makeup in it. But of course I have some new products from Tom Ford that I am gonna be trying out. This video is not sponsored by them. I came to LA for an event with Tom Ford and they gifted so much stuff to us that I'm like, ooh, I wanna play in it right now. So we're gonna talk about this. First is gonna be my lip primer, which you already know. I have to always apologize because there's no link for it, but the MAC Prep and Prime lip is really good, so I'll link that one for you below. So, you know, I was just chilling or whatever, and I received an invitation to come to LA for an event with Tom Ford, and I was just like, mm -hmm. what you mean, you know? Just so exciting, because I live in Houston, and I see people, especially in LA, New York too, but definitely in LA, going to a lot of events. A lot of brands are housed here, and it's like, Man, that must be nice. And I'm sure it can be exhausting too, but definitely must be nice to be able to rub elbows and network with people in the field, whether it be on the brand side or on the influencer side. It's just fun. And no matter what event you go to, it's content, right? So it just always seemed like such fun stuff that of course I was never afforded the opportunity to be involved in until now. So I got an email to come here and I was like, is this a mistake? <laughs> like what do you mean? You know, like I know that I'm bomb or whatever, but like still, I was just like, what? Are you serious? And it was like two weeks out and I was like, what? Are you serious? And I just thank God that I work full time within my business as a content creator and influencer. So I have the flexibility to be able to get up and say, okay, sure, I'll be there. Versus, dang, now I gotta get this time off and I gotta go ask and you know, all of this, it's just a lot. I'm gonna be trying the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Primer. So with this primer, it's a twist up top. I almost did the same thing I did in this in the hotel. It's so annoying. I was too aggressive and I grabbed it too just too much. So you just twist it up like this. Okay, baby. And then you pump. Pumping some of this onto my fingers. So I was just like, wait, how, why, when? Amazing. Yes, I can be there. So yeah, here I am and I'm just so excited about it. I'm like, Lord, this gonna be the beginning of many. Hello. Yo, I tried this primer on my hands at the hotel suite yesterday. So the event was in the Hotel Bel Air. First of all, Hotel Bel Air. Ow. <laughs> You know, and I tried this out on my hands. Look at the blur. Do you see the blur on that side versus, obviously I haven't blended this in, but do you just see that? I think it looks so great. Oh my God. I was like, not Hotel Bel Air. Now I haven't seen the new Bel Air and all that, but it just made me think like, yo, it's just amazing. You know, the opportunities that God is laying out for the kid. I can't help but just give him all the glory and the thanks because without him, I am nothing. I mean, we've already established that. If you're new here, I believe in the Lord Jesus and nothing that I do or that I have is or has been done without him. And I always recognize that. So just even being here is like, wow, I'm so grateful. This hotel, never in my life, this feels so smooth, wow. Never in my life have I ever 
been in such a place and you better believe i'm walking these halls like i belong here okay i ain't gonna walk these halls like <laughs> no timid mouse it ain't gonna be me baby i'm walking these halls like yes hi hello good morning good to see you you know because it's just a thing you know it's just a thing this is definitely blurring i'm seeing the soft matteness of it are you comment and let me know have you tried this i want to know and also i have not tried any product from tom ford beauty except tom ford soleil blanc the the fragrance so this is my first time and i'm excited about it i want to know if you've tried other stuff from tom ford and um you know what your faves are they have a different foundation i wasn't able to find my shade Okay, so I did I did tell my now good friend, I don't even have his number, but <laughs> Alan, he was helping me look at everything. So sweet, just so fun. And he was just so thorough. I was like, I can't find my shade. I don't know what that means. You know what I'm saying? So clearly there's some work to be done there. I mean, we all know Tom Ford is being very luxe, you know, runway Oscars type makeup, but certainly makeup that I mean, we can wear, those of us who are not on television and stuff, like, hello, we deserve to. So I'm sure that's why it's not that expansive, but certainly there's work to be done because it's like, what? Okay, so now in this foundation, this is the Traceless Soft Matte Foundation, and it's the color Walnut 12.5. I did have to go darker than usual, so let's just see what's going on. I swatched on my hand because sure enough, when I walked up, I had makeup on like that. So I swatched on my hand, but now I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and I'm like, ooh, I think this is gonna be too dark. Ah. Cause the other ones, like, again, these shades weren't that expansive either. And I was just like, what the heck? Okay, oh, see, I almost was aggressive again. I almost wanted to just yank this off. You got a twist, excuse me, hi. I have had this in my Sephora cart for some time, but I knew that I wanted to go in the store and swatch it before purchasing it. So I had planned on getting this and here we are, now I got it. All right, back of the hand. It's very loose. It is dark, but you know, I do be going dark sometimes. Let's do it. We gonna do it cause we're here already. Okay. I'm putting on my brushes, baby. You know, the majority of my brushes when I travel are from Amazon. I'll link that brush set below and I'll link the video where I used the entire brush set to do a makeup look. I think it's medium to full. No, I, don't, I think it's, I think it's medium, I forgot. Okay. Oh, we can make this work. Definitely gonna match really, really well in the summer when I get darker. I'm gonna go do a light application right now because this is, this is very dark. <laughs> what was the other color? We tried other ones and it just wasn't, they didn't have enough. So I had to choose this one, especially because of the undertone. Okay, I just wiped off my brush a little and now let's blend. Yeah, it's shearing out a little. Cause even in the YSL new, I have been using a darker color and then you know, it all ends up coming together. Like it's, it's shearing out well. This is definitely medium, but I still see skin. And of course, for the brand, I don't see them as a, a matte foundation type brand. Dang, did I put too much on my forehead? Because I'm seeing texture. Okay, we need to salvage this though, because I need to get ready and go. <laughs> oh my God. So I'm just building this up a little bit to cover all the areas. I think it does look really pretty. What do you think? Comment and let me know. I literally stopped by the mini bar and made a Nespresso because I too deserve. In my travel kit, I have the beauty blender, but I will link some cheaper options for you below from Amazon that I do love to use at home. I do have the shade and illuminate concealer. This is the color 7NO Almond. I swatched a bunch of these, of course. One of the colors that was next to this had an olive undertone. And then there was another one that I liked, but it was too light. So I chose this one with, oh yeah, this one looks good. It looks light enough and it looks really good. This is supposed to be illuminating. So let's blend this in. And judging by how dark this shade of foundation is, I certainly could have gone darker with the concealer, but it does look good though. And you know me, with my concealer, I'm not gonna blend it all the way to my hairline. We want no lines of demarcation. I just want it to fade into that area. So taking the back of the sponge to then blend that part out, okay? And then I come to the front, pinching the beauty sponge and going down the side 
of the nose. Oh, I do see the radiance. I hooked up my audio from my computer to the surround sound, honey. So we went in the bathroom yesterday, jamming out to some dance hall, Beres Amund, just the whole thing. And then in the evening, I had jazz flowing through the whole place. Oh, let me talk about who I met here. Yesterday's event was for the Sephora squad members who were invited. So there were maybe what, six of us who were invited. And I got to meet, is it Sonia or Sonia? I didn't ask her, I feel like it's Sonia. She is so funny. I got to meet Jamila, she's in the hotel with me. Erin, Nicole, she's on the squad, they're all on the squad. She's here in the hotel with me. And I got to meet Edward. So yeah, we got to meet each other and hang out and it was so funny in the evening. I mean, we had gotten a lot of content all day. And if you saw my reels, you saw, right? It just when you meet up with people who do the same thing you do. Wait, that glided on so softly? My face is so soft. When I do that step, it never glides on that softly. Definitely has to be because of the primer and or the foundation. That glided on so softly, wow. Wow, 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 wow. So we met, went to lunch at Avra, Avra, not sure. It was delicious. So last night, Erin and Jamila came to my room and I was downloading the content that I use on my, that I took on my camera to give to them and airdrop to them. And we were just swapping all the content that we took for each other. And then when they came in, they're like, oh my God, this is a vibe. I was like, absolutely, honey. It's vibes on vibes, you know? It's dynamite, all of the things. So I was like, girl, y'all didn't, didn't fiddle around in your room because baby, we need to make sure that the vibes are vibing, you know? I had the music going, it was a whole deal. Let me take a sip of my, of my Nespresso, <laughs> you know, because we're doing Nespresso. Hello, praise the Lord. <laughs> now this is my Huda Beauty stick foundation. You know what I'm saying. Color is lava cake, okay? Cause I don't have a contour. I did see the bronzers from Tom Ford, but girl, they ain't for me. Them bronzers ain't for me. So if they do expand the shades, which they should, if you wanna be inclusive, I would love to try out a Tom Ford bronzer. Cause even just the case just looks so sexy. <laughs> just makes you want to buy it just for the case. This is a Fenty foundation brush. You know how there's some products you're like, I just want to buy it just because it just looks pretty. I don't even plan on using it. I'm just gonna uh, hold on to it. We used to do this all the time at Mac. When different collections came out, it was like, mm, I just want to have that. Like, I just want to buy it and have it. I literally have a brush set from Wet n Wild that I bought. It's white and I have never used it. <laughs> because it's so pretty. I'm like, I can't get this messy. If you know, you know. I'm not the only one, I know that. Now, this contour usually is a lot more pronounced, but we've talked about this before, but let's do a recap. If the foundation you use is darker than normal, your products, all of them are going to look a little bit different. So, that's why I said that this doesn't look as dark as normal, because my foundation today is darker than normal. All right, I just set my under eye. I just set all the concealed areas, honestly. Let me put a little bit of this on my eyelid just to take away the shine. This is an older product that I have. I got this in BoxyCharm. This is Pretty Vulgar, the Powder Room Matte About It Translucent Setting Powder. And I have it here in the makeup kit and I think it looks great. The concealer looks good. I'm loving the concealer. I need to exfoliate my face. I'm looking very closely and I'm like, mm, there's some problems, honey. But do you see how with where we are right now, the face is coming together and it's not looking as dark. So don't be alarmed if your foundation is a little bit too dark. You do need to know how to work it. And hopefully if you've been watching several of my videos, you've been learning how to make things work. I feel like that needs to be something for us. What do you think? Because around here, we do a lot of making it work. Now. For some people that might be a turn off because you might feel like, well, I shouldn't have to make it work and I do understand. But when I try things out, sometimes it's like, oh, this is the wrong shade or this is the wrong whatever. And I wanna give you the video, so I just make it work. Now this is an oldie but goodie, Morphe Glamour Bronze Prodigy. All right, now Fenty Powder Foundation. I use the color 450. Still gonna use that because I do wanna bring some bronze or some golden tones to the look because the foundation was more on the neutral side and then of course to lighten it up a smidge so I'm not changing the color of my powder foundation and this is one of the brushes from the Amazon brush set that I was telling you about and I'm going over all the highlighted areas not so much the contour or the bronzer because I want it to still show and this is softening everything out it looks so good already wowzers the leftover bronzer on here I'm gonna use under my chin I've been doing that lately. 
and it just helps to bring everything together. And I'm gonna make sure that when I use this again, when I use the primer again, which I am gonna use, I can tell the softness is fantastic. I'm gonna go a lot lighter with my application, but this looks so good already. I want you to comment and let me know how you're feeling about it, baby. All right? My usual tried and true, honey, this is Rare Beauty Luminizer. I just love it. Oh, the skin has come back to life. Do you see that? Wow. If we go back to the beginning where I was looking really, really dark, and then to now, baby, it's just a whole new thing. It just looks like a, it's not even the same person, you see? So don't be discouraged, honey. Again, we just make it work around here. I like to put my luminizer behind my hand. It warms the product up. It's just a makeup artist thing. It's just what I'm accustomed to and love to do. And then the back of the sponge, even though there's some, some product. So take the product, blend it, blend it, blend it on the hand and then onto the face, okay? Right here. And that way we have diffused the harshest amount of the product and then we're applying so that you don't have such a harsh application, you know? I still love me a good old highlight. Now let's do some blush. This is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Blush in the color 03 Peach Poison. Now this, if, if this is not the sexiest packaging, then I don't know what is. Mind you, it comes in this beautiful slip cover that I didn't show you, but like, oh my gosh, like a purse for the blush, like, Hello, just to keep the paws, keep the dirty paw prints off of it. I'm going to dust back and forth over this to get both colors. It looks lighter now, but obviously when I showed it to you, I lowered down the, the exposure so you can really see it. It's not that light in real life. This is the Sigma, what is it? Blush brush, it's the F92, okay? I'm just going back and forth to get both. I hope this shows up on me. All right, starting off toward the back of the cheek, coming to the front of the cheek. Mm, it's a no. I don't see it. No, 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 no. You know how you want to like something because it looks pretty? No, this is a no. It's a no. And then I wanted to try this too. It looks so sexy as well. They All of these powder compact products have a beautiful purse to it, I'll call it. It's just so sexy, all the detailing. This is the Tom Ford Soleil Glow Bronzer in the color Glow Dust. Not gonna work for me either. So I'm gonna put these in the giveaway. You just saw me use this on my face. I don't think that it's unsanitary, just spray it with alcohol if you do receive this. This is an e.l.f. Cosmetics blush that I've used time and time again, always fiery. Let's go ahead and put this on, baby. Now there we see some pigment, okay? I normally use always spicy at home, but I have always fiery in my suitcase. And the nose is looking snatched. I just took some of the bronzer down my nose. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows and come back. All right, so I have the Emotion Proof Eye Primer which, you know, when I'm not doing an actual eyeshadow look, I don't use an eye primer, but I wanna try this because sometimes, to be honest, when I just do the powder foundation on my eyes without the primer, it does crease a little bit. I know you don't care because it's my basic soft glam everyday look, but you know what? Let's just use this today because obviously we wanna try it and you know, I wanna see how this ends up looking. Is it gonna dry down nice and matte? We will see, because I am gonna do the powder foundation look today, of course. Just my go-to everyday look. And what I mean by that is putting powder foundation on my eyelid and that will just look like an eyeshadow, you know? So let's see how this dries. Okay, so it does feel good. I'm looking up and down to see if it's sticky. It's not sticky. Let's go and apply the powder foundation, same one I had on earlier. This is the Fenty Beauty 450 Pro Filter. Yeah, I do feel like it is adhering to something. Now let me know if you ever put your powder on your eye or are you always wearing an eyeshadow? There was a time in my life where I, when I first started doing makeup, I felt like I always had to have on an eyeshadow and usually that's two or three, right? You have your crease color, your lid color, and your brow bone. And that was all the time that I did makeup. And then as I matured and just learned more and more about makeup, I was like, you know what? I don't always need an eyeshadow. I can just put my powder on my eyes and it'll look good, like what? And here's a trick that I do on the outer part to make sure that right here isn't so harsh. Take the leftover product from the brush that has the bronzer on it and go here. We're just diffusing this area on both sides. I've had my days and years where I did not do this and then in pictures, I'm like, why? Why, what is that? <laughs> and I figured it out let me just do this it, and sometimes I will take more product to blend that out but really and truly that right there is good because it's always leftover product on your brush 
always. Okay, ew, looking good, baby. All right, so now I have the Tom Ford Eye Color Quad Cream, and this is 35 Rose Topaz. These are so buttery and beautiful. You know that when I'm doing my basic soft glam everyday look, I love to use a powder as my eyeliner. So what I'm gonna do is take this darker color at the bottom right. It's like a frosty black, I don't know. And I'm taking this brush from the Amazon brush set that I told you about, tapping off the excess and starting on the outer part of my eye to give me a blown out wing look, basically. I did not even have to tap off anything because this is so creamy. All right, I don't have a mascara, so I will do my usual with my usual lashes and come back. All right, now this color right here in the quad is so gorgeous, even swatched, so gorgeous, so creamy. So I'm gonna use it on my inner eye with my finger. I should do my pinky, huh? Ooh, yes, let me do my pinky to really get in there. Yes, baby. Look at that pop. You know me, I live for a good inner eye, honey. Inner eye highlight, yes. This looks so beautiful. Ah! And you know what, this soft, black, gray, I don't really know how to explain the undertone of the eyeshadow that I used as a liner, looks really good too. Yes and yes. If you love this, comment and let me know. All right, so I lined my lips with the Oldie But Goodie Limbo from ColourPop, right? And then the lipstick from Tom Ford. I did swatch it, so it's not gonna look as sexy as it originally is in the packaging. It's so cute. It just feels so luxe and creamy. It reminds me of the Huda Beauty lipsticks too. Oh, this is so sexy. It's a nice peachy type pink, more on the pink side. Not so much orange but it pops, just work it in. Use a brown or mauve burgundy type of lip liner if you want to really blend this and make it ombre. And these feel so heavy, just luxurious. Like, come on, girl. We are all done with the glam. Now, we can't forget our fragrance, baby. You know I love me a good fragrance. So they were so kind to gift me with this new fragrance. And baby, when I tell you, it is so sexy. Honey, okay, this is Rose de Chine. My God, today I put two other, I think it's Rose de Malfi and Rose Prick. I put those in my shopping cart for the Sephora sale, and then I got this one. It is so sexy. Oh my God, got to spray all over, all over. And spray your wigs, girls. Spray your wigs, honey. Spray your wigs. Don't play these games. Oh my gosh, so great. Let me give you the notes because, oh my gosh, it smells like wine, okay? Wow, I'm just so blown away. Rose de Chine Eau de Parfum. It is a warm floral. It's got rose absolute, rose water extract, golden peony. Oh my goodness, it is so good. It is just the most beautiful rose I've ever smelled in my whole entire life. I can't make this up. It is that fantastic. I think you will enjoy it thoroughly, okay? It's an unexpectedly decadent, untamed rose. Rose de Chine contrasts vibrant Chinese peony with the smoky, yes, smoky carnality of Cistus Absolute and Myrrh. Oh my goodness, this is out of this world. I love it so much. So that concludes the get ready with me, ladies, and I feel so beautiful. I want you to comment and let me know which of these products you loved or just enjoyed watching me put on. If you have tried this fragrance, I want you to let me know. Do you have fragrances in your shopping cart for this Sephora sale? I also wanna know that too. Tell me if you've been to Beverly Hills. Tell me if you are enjoying my videos or or tell me if you like Get Ready With Me. Make sure you subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and also comment below. Give the video a thumbs up, that's important. It helps me to know which videos you like and love, and it also supports me in the algorithm. I'm gonna see you in my next video. May speaking of, I'm gonna leave two for you here to choose from. Choose one of those, stick around a little bit more, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.